Right, hi there. What I'm going to show you today is um, a very simple way of making a boot disk. So the first command I'm going to issue is make directory C boot. So do a quick directory of C and you should see boot up here somewhere. No, that's not it. Let's try that. There we go. Here is is boot. Just there. That's the directory I've just created. Now we don't need to put anything inside that, but I do need to show you some things inside my documents and settings folder. I have boot bin, boot ISO, boot C ISO, so I'm going to delete so this is a previous attempt because I have tried this before so what I'm going to do now is just directory if you can see that directory B again now boot bin is my boot sector that used to be boot ASM until I compiled it with MSAM AMSAM AT command properties or whatever command line properties parameters and the boot, I compiled it to boot bin that's a com file now just get rid of that now I'm going to type in make ISO file system you can get this if you search for mk iso iso fs for dos b for boot bin now this is important if i can get this command can you see that command um, no mu no emulation boot that's important to put that in that's the only command you really need and then you do o boot dot iso where's that gone it's gone down here now <laughs> o boot dot iso that's the o setting for what your output is then you need a directory structure and it can be empty because we're just doing a boot disk so your directory is cboot and that's usually where the kernel goes. Alright, so we need to copy boot bin to C boot. We're copying over boot bin to C boot. Then we run the command again because that's the only file what needs to go inside C boot. I forgot about that, but it is the only file what needs to go inside C boot. Is um, the boot block. Then you've got that. So you directory it again. Directory B. And there's the boot bin file created. It is 512 bytes, which is usual. Oh, no, sorry the boot iso file which is even bigger really that's a big file three megabytes or three 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 hundred and sixty two thousand three hundred and sixty two hundred thousand something like that i'm not very good with numbers but anyway ah anyway we're going to go over to this box now i've already got now you get the iso file and you burn it to CD, you burn an ISO. Now I've got this boot sector on here. Now first of all I'm going to power up this machine. Stick the disc in. Now as you can see there, it's been unable to boot, no boot devices. Can I got a hard drive for this laptop? This one has been pawned by Jinx, you see. It's an Apple, Intel, Windows XP, Porn by Jinx. So what you do is you press F1. And can you hear it? There we go. And that's what this boot sector does. 
it prints out the registry values. So CK or CX by the looks of it. CX is F. BP is 100. DI is 30. SI is 7C05. This is hexadecimal. IP is FFFB. These are all the point, all the registry settings of the computer. Let's switch that off. Of the computer when it's booted up. Hello. So that's um, how you make a boot disk. Um, let's show you that command again. You need obviously a boot file, but it's make ISO file system bbin boot. And we, if we go back. Um, no emul bbin boot, no emulator boots, O B ISO C boot. And you need a boot block, that's boot bin, that's the boot block. Now you, if you go over to freshtings.com, that's fresh T I N G S freshtings.com, it's got all the boot block sectors on there. Even the boot ISO for you to burn to this, it's got all the commands you need. Everything you want is on there for how to make a boot block. That's freshtings.com. Check out where or that way. I don't know which way. That way or that way. The side of the um, video, it should be a link there. Check it out. Visit the site. And it's also got a load of ASM stuff in there. 32 bit assembler like stuff if you want to check it out. It'll help you write your own boot block. And so enjoy.